What up folks, Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at that funky weathered freeze frame style effect, which I think is kind of cool. Didn't really know what to call it, but I figured that was the best name for it. Now it's quite a cool effect for transitioning into titles, but you could also use it as a background for videos or photos as well. Now to achieve this effect you will need a weathered paper image file like a jpeg file fortunately they're really easy to find just google them or head to pexels.com if you want to use the exact one i've used it's linked down in the description below where you can go and download it completely for free so with that out of the way let's open up davinci resolve and i'll show you how so here we are within davinci resolve we're currently on the edit tab and i've got my footage set up on my timeline now the very first thing you need to do is just to find the point where you want to have your freeze frame so i want this point here where this person with the umbrella is just walking across the road so I'm going to put my playhead about there and that's going to be my freeze frame. Give your footage a click on the timeline, open up the inspector in the top right hand corner, come down to speed change, click on the word speed change if you don't see the options underneath and then where you've got direction you've got these right and left arrows and then a little snowflake, click on the snowflake icon to create a freeze frame where your playhead is. So now we've got video that will play at the beginning and then it'll freeze frame at that point, like so. Now from here we just need to decide how long we want our freeze frame or our title to be. So I made this cut at 1 second and 11, so we're just going to make this about 5 seconds-ish. We'll go to about there, move our playhead, and then what you want to do is give this second section a click, hit Ctrl and B on your keyboard to do a cut, like so. Click on this final third section and again within the inspector you want to just change it back from the freeze frame to the right arrows, so the leftmost icon. And now we've got this motion, a freeze frame and then it will go back to playing as it was. So we've got our freeze frame ready to go. Now we just need to give it our old timey paper effect. I'm going to grab my paper JPEG and I'm just going to put that on the track above like so. And we'll just trim that down so it's the right length. Now all that does at the moment is it cuts into the paper and that's all we see. So we just need to change the composite mode. So we're going to give the paper a click. Once again in the inspector, come down to the composite area and again click it if you don't see the options. And then you've got the composite mode and it will currently be set to normal. Click on the drop down. And if you're doing a dark scene like I am, I recommend starting off with vivid light. So I give that a click and that gives me that look which I really like. If your scene's much lighter, much more daytime, I recommend using one called hard light instead. That seems to give a better overall effect if it's a really bright daytime scene. And then once you've set your composite mode, you've got the opacity underneath so you can just lower that down just to fine tune it to get it looking exactly as you want it. So now we've got this, we've got our freeze frame with our paper effect like so. So now we're starting to get somewhere. Next up, we just need to add a transition to our paper effect so that it comes in a little bit more gradually. So I'm going to open up the effects library by clicking on effects library in the top left hand corner. We're going to come down to the video transitions and I like to use a real simple additive dissolve. So I'm just going to grab that from the effects library, drag it onto my paper and put it there like so. We only need it to be quite short. So I'm just going to trim this down. I'm going to go with about, there we go, 0.8. So it's a real quick, transition like so. And then we just want to copy that transition to the end of the clip as well. Easiest way to do that, give it a click so it's highlighted in red, hold down the alt key on your keyboard and then click and drag it over to the end of the clip so you've got a duplicate transition like so and then just release your mouse and that will create a copy like so. Easy peasy. So now we're nearly there, we're pretty much done. I just like to add one last little touch which I think really sells it, makes it look really cool. Come down and select your freeze frame. So again, it's highlighted in red on your timeline. Move your playhead to the very beginning of the clip. So right where this edit point is here. Open up the inspector once again. Go to the transform area. And at the top, you've got this little diamond to add a keyframe. Just give that a click so that all of these turn red. Then move your playhead to the end of the transition 
right there. And then what I like to do is just add a little bit of zoom and a little bit of angle. So now if we play that, when we've got our freeze frame, our paper effect, it just zooms in and angles it, which just makes it look a little bit cooler. Then we just need to reverse that at the end of the clip. So we're just going to move our playhead to the start of the out transition and do the exact same thing, but in reverse. So we're just going to come up, add a keyframe, so everything turns red once again, and then move our playhead to the very end. And then we just need to reset all of these back to one. So my zoom is at 1.08, so I'm going to change that to one. My rotation angle is at 2.3, so I'm just going to change that back to one as well. And now we've got this freeze frame with the cool paper effect, and then it'll reverse out like so. Then you can just add your photos or videos or titles, whatever you want, on top of that. And there you go. Job done. <laughs> and that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Any thoughts or feedback down in the comment section below. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. See ya.